Safety, compliance, and agile. Such an exciting topic discussion that we have today on learnings from the July 9th Automotive Day in Wiesbaden. I'm Sheila Schultz, and I am here with my colleague, Peter Pedros from Pedco AG. Hi, Peter. Hi, Sheila. Pleasure to meet you here. I know you recently presented at the Automotive Day conference, and I wondered if you could brief us a little bit on what you covered. Yes, of course. Yeah, we talked a bit about functional safety and safe. And of course, it was about embracing the future of automotive technology. So we talked a little bit about how the automotive industry is advancing toward uh, advanced driver assistance systems and automated driving and so forth, and what it takes to make that sure. So we talked a lot about uh, regulations, uh, ISO 262. Uh, functionality on the intended functionality, how you can make that safe, and of course about machine learning and cybersecurity and so forth. And the question was, because there are so many regulations, how can we cope with that and still stay agile? Yeah, this is really interesting to me. Um, I'm curious when you brought that up, what the reactions were from the audience? It seemed to me that it was a big relief, and that is also the feedback I got after my presentation. Uh, it was comprehensive, and they saw that there is a solution to have both, to have compliance in place and agile development. And that is exactly what they needed. And um, they saw that there is a way, and it, it looked like they were happy that something has been resolved for them because sometimes if you take all these various regulations and there are hundreds of regulations and it can look like a big mountain and it's hard to cross so if you see aha there's a systematic approach and um, we can do it and it's doable so uh, that's what i saw a big relief oh uh, that's really exciting to me uh, as you know i have a great passion for this area for systems you're safety. an expert in that yeah and, and I spent many years at General Motors in the system safety area. So I'm always excited to see how it's evolving and uh, especially in uh, approaches from a process and an agile process perspective. So really cool. Uh, what were your overall takeaways from the conference? Yeah, real takeaways was that our approach to have mappings for roles, specific deliverables, so to add clarity to a defined process, um, that the people, they agreed on that and they said, okay, that is really approach which we think that is successful and that is approachable. And uh, we got good feedback and even companies from railway, for example, approached me afterwards that they would like to do the same way as in automotive. And this is something that is really exciting. And for me, it was clear that that is a way with applied safe to combine regulations, compliance and agile development with the scaled agile framework. People are looking for solutions, how to do it in a systematic manner, and this is really that for me, the key takeaway is that people are eager to do both in the same time. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, that's any good. last comments before we close? Yeah, it's um, compliance and agile. It's not something contradicting. It's something that supports each other and it's worth doing it going that way. And then you have safe, good products fast on the market with an agile. Excellent. Well, thanks, Peter. It was a pleasure talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye.